save this, record something, check back the quality of the video afterwards and let's see, okay, the quality is still not good. What's happening guys, my name is Alex and welcome to a brand new OBS tutorial. In this video guys, I'm going to show you guys how to fix dropping frames. Everyone dro knows dropping frames, that means actually that your encoding program cannot keep up with what you're doing. So let's say you are streaming like a heavy game, I would say like GTA 5 or something like something other like giant games and like OBS is also running and it's constantly dropping frames because you don't have the right settings. I'm going to show you guys how to fix those dropping frames, so I would say let's start off with the first OBS tutorial of today. Alright guys, so we're in OBS. Yes, as always and first of all guys um, dropping frames is actually a problem when you like I said OBS cannot keep up with what you're doing to avoid dropping frames you just want to have the right settings for your recording or streaming so what you want to do to fix this problem is you want to go to settings click, also click on settings and we, we're gonna go straight to the encoding tab and right here guys those two max bitrate and a buffer size are the ones that are causing dropping frames because this one is not optimized so guys basically what I tried and what I always do to record OBS and record any video actually of my channel is with 5000 and 5000 so I receive a lot of comments like Alex I had the same settings as you and my recording looks like shit well guys my PC is maybe different than yours and I don't know if you guys have a i7 uh, $1100 PC. I have no idea what kind of PCs you guys have. So if you fill in 5000 for your system and that's not, and it only works for mine, of course you're going to still have the problem because those settings are not optimized based on what you have on your computer. So what I would do guys is start off with a thousand. It doesn't matter which kind of PC you have. Just start off with a thousand and then just, you know, record something. Like record your screen or record yourself with your webcam and OBS and just watch the recording back and let's see if like if the quality is great and that's good. You want to keep it on like a thousand. But if the quality is still too crap, guys, you just want to go and fill in on both boxes two thousand. As you can see right there and then record again so we're gonna record at 2000 and checking if that works okay 2000 is still too low we're gonna go over you guys can already guess it to 3000 on both let's record this way and let's you know record at 3000 and let's you know check back let's play back the, the recording and let's see if there's any if the quality is just good overall and if it doesn't guys you just want to keep raising this um, those settings to 4000 right there boom it works the same guys just save this record something check back the quality of the video afterwards and let's see okay the quality is still not good and what i do what i did is i sticked this is my what i use as always so this is what i use 5000 on 5000 so this is what i use guys you probably you guys probably can you can probably you guys are going to use 7000 6000 8000 i have no idea what kind of computers you have guys you guys are with so many i have no freaking clue what kind of system you have so keep on raising it until the quality is good and then keep those that's how you can get rid of, you know, dropping frames. Just optimize those settings. It isn't, you don't need to go to the settings of your game and, and you know, lower the, the FPS or whatever. It doesn't, ha it doesn't have anything to do with your game. It is only because of OBS. So your game can be running fine, but if OBS is not, you know, optimized for streaming or recording based on your computer specs, um, it can it can drop frames. So guys, that's what I would recommend. Just go ahead and just start from thousand and just keep raising until you're maybe like six, seven, eight thousand. It doesn't matter, guys. You don't need to fill in five thousand because I have that. And then you say like, Alex, I'm gonna fill in five thousand as well because your your videos are really sharp. Well, dude, that's not because I have five thousand. That's because my settings are optimized based on my PC. Make sure to just start off with a thousand and then just two thousand, three thousand, four thousand, five thousand, six thousand. It doesn't matter. Even if you need. 15,000 that doesn't matter guys it just has to be you know optimized for your computer that's what I would say about dropping frames guys so that's basically how you can fix dropping frame guys I hope you guys enjoyed the video and this helpful and this video was helpful to you so I would say that's the video and that's the tutorial so that's what it is guys that's how you fix dropping frames so thank you so much for watching and thank you guys for almost 26,000 subscribers is amazing guys I cannot thank you guys enough so thanks again for watching hope you guys enjoyed this video make sure to smash the like button down below also the subscribe button down below for more videos and i'll see you guys in two hours for the last obs tutorial today as always on tuesday so thanks again and i'll see you guys in two hours
We're gonna give you guys six tips for beginner drivers. My name's LTHH Official, as yeah. always. Yeah. And I upload one video every day of the week, except on Saturday and Sunday. I'm just gonna start streaming live. First question for today. Ooh. So that's gonna be through this hall. It's gonna be pretty dark. So we have the door. Future your comment or your question. I'll see you guys in the next video.